This is the Charlier Cut. The Charlier Cut is a, a hand flourish that you do with cards. It doesn't, doesn't do a trick per se, right? But what it does do is it establishes dominance over your audience. It makes them feel intimidated. It shows them that you've got skill, that you've got control, and that you, you're in it. You know, you're really in it. See that? Two hands. It's important to do stuff like this in magic. And beginners, you know, they don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. They think they could just like, you know, pick a card, do some shit like that, but you can't. You have to show that you're skilled. You have to show that you, you have control because that gives you power. And that's big in magic. I mean, you're, you're lying to people and you're telling them, well, you're not lying, but you're telling them that, that you know, the reality is a certain way, but you're doing something different. So you need things like this. You need ways to to show them that you're you know you're one level above them in humanity and it, just in you know in your interaction with them. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the Charlier cut because it's going to give you edge. It's going to give you power, uh, and it's good. It's badass. So here's how you do the Charlier cut. You hold the cards, the deck like this in your hand. You have your thumb on one side and the rest of your uh, fingers on the other. And you push it up here as high, you know, you don't want it down here. You want it up as high as you can, you can have it. Then you take your thumb and you kind of buckle your thumb out here. Watch this. And what happens is half the deck will fall. Now you're going to, you're going to use this first finger here and you're going to create sort of a T shape. And you're going to push that all the way to the edge and then that pack will fall and then you close it. And that's the Charlier cut. I mean, that's pretty much it. So you, you do it like this, right? You could do it in both hands. You could do it in one hand. Uh, I wouldn't do it in, you know, the point is a one-handed cut. So you want to emphasize that, you know, boom, you're doing it with one hand. Uh, and it's a good, you know, it's a good thing. And actually, you know, when I was a kid, I couldn't do this. You know, because I had small, weak child hands. Of course, now that's not a problem because I have big, powerful man hands. But when I was a kid, I didn't. That wasn't, you know, that wasn't always the case. And my hands were, tragically, they were too small uh, to do this. You know, because this part here, when, when the deck falls and you make that T, you know, if, you're, if your thumb, your fingers aren't long enough, you're, you're not going to be able to do that because, you know, it's going to be lower and it, I couldn't do it. I remember one time I was practicing this for hours and hours and I just, my hands were too small. And I threw the cards in a fit of childhood rage. And it was, everything was in that moment. I was so upset. And I was so worried. My hands would never grow to the size that they needed to be for me to do this. I came up with a solution, but it was fucking humiliating. I, I used to buy these cards were called bridge cards and they were smaller slightly smaller noticeably smaller than a standard you know poker sized deck and i used those and with those i could do the charlier cut but i mean oh it's so humiliating like the the point is to show that you have confidence and dominance that's why you do the charlier cut and I, I mean, I would do it with these bridge cards, but you could tell they're smaller. It, that's so humiliating. I mean, why, why even do magic if you're going to do something like that? Oh. I, I actually saved some of those decks of cards in case, in case my hands never grew. I saved them. I was worried that the that they'd stop making them and that I would need I would need a deck. 
and I'd have these little weak child hands forever. I saved them. I know where they are. I'm going to get them. I'm going to go get them so we can look at this because you, you need to see them. I'll be right back. this way and then at some point no oh, no oh god my fucking shoes are all wet jesus what is this is this piss there's piss everywhere it's disgusting oh god where did i leave this shit uh what is that is that a person Hello? Hey! Hello, who is that? Hey there! Hey, what brings you down my tube? I mean, uh, is this your tube? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking for a little brown uh, paper bag with some decks of cards in it. I think there's two decks of cards in there. They're, uh, they're bridge, bridge size cards, so that, you know, they're a little smaller. I left it down here when I was a kid, so years ago, uh, because my hands, uh, I, they were small at the time, and I was afraid that they wouldn't grow. Oh, a paper bag, you say? Uh, there are lots of paper bags down here, friend. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm just looking for the one, so, uh, I mean, do you know where that might be? Yep. There should be a room on your right labeled Collection Room. Yeah. Why don't you go down there and see if you can find your bag, and I'll make some tea for us. Alright. Okay, what is that here? Yeah, right here, collection room. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh. Oh, there's bags of old food in here. There's a bag of used condoms? Ugh, God. This is fucking disgusting. What? Oh, here it is. Right here. My cards. Wow, that's a trip. Holy shit. All right, well, great. I mean, fantastic. I got it. Wow, this is insane. I can't believe these cards are still in here after all this time. They, they held up and... Oh my god, that's great. Hey, did you find your cards? Uh, yeah, actually I did. I, I got the bag right here, so I'm, I'm good. Hey, all right. Hey, our tea is ready, you hear that? You can take a seat right here and I'll go grab it. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually good on the tea. I'm not gonna have any, I'm, uh, I'm actually doing a show right now and I wouldn't want to keep people waiting, you know what I mean? Nonsense, come on. Everyone has time for some tea. Uh, it's chai, and it just flushed through yesterday. Yeah, no, dude, I'm serious on the tea. I'm not gonna have any, but... I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't want you to waste the bag on me, you know? Please. I... I don't get visitors often. Uh, I mean, yeah, well, you, you probably don't get visitors because you live in a, in a sewer. I mean, if you want to be around people, why don't you just live in a house like a normal person? <laughs> you bring up a pretty good point. Hey, let me grab our tea and uh, we can keep talking about this. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah. Whew. That was a fucking 
doozy, wasn't it? Yikes. Here they are. I got two decks. Red and, uh, and blue. Oh God, look at these things. Ugh. You can see right there, bridge size standard face. So these are bridge cards and they are, like I said, they're, they're smaller. Ugh. I feel disgusting even holding these. Ugh. Wow. So these are, well, they're buttery. They are good cards, but they are disgusting in the size. I mean, oh my God, look at that. That looks ridiculous. You can see the graphic. You can tell from the graphic how different it is. Here, look at this. These are man cards. Ugh. Yikes. You can see right here how different they look. Look at that. Oh my God. I can't believe I was doing magic with that thing. That's so bad. That's humiliating. You know why they call them bridge cards too? They call them bridge cards because they're used for playing bridge. And in bridge, I think you have a lot of cards in your hand at once. And you know who plays bridge? Old ladies with weak, tiny old lady hands. And so they have a smaller deck for that. Could you imagine a magician trying to blow your mind and show you things? And he pulls out these little old lady cards. What the hell is that? That's pathetic. I can't believe, I mean, what if my hands didn't grow? What if my hands never actually grew to a size to where I could do the Charlier cut with poker size playing card, real cards? Oh my God. That's tragic. And here's something that's really crazy. You know what happens when you Google Charlie or Cut? Can't Charlie or Cut? Hands not big enough to get the job done. Look no further. Magic Hands is the only proven way to increase hand size within weeks of taking it. Our proven formula will have you performing flawless one-handed cuts in no time. Size matters. This is a thing. This is a problem. This is something people in the magic community with little hands have to deal with. That's really bad. That makes all of us look bad. I need to come up with something that magicians with small hands can do. I mean, there can't be another kid out there who goes through what I went through. The embarrassment and the misery. You know what? Check this out. This is the Charlier cut for small hands. It's a revised version of the Charlier cut. This great thing that magicians have used for a long time to show that they know what the fuck they're doing is now finally something someone with little hands and kids and men with little kid hands can do. It's a way for them to finally be able to perform the Charlier cut. Here's how it works, and brought to you by Finelli Magic, by me. I came up with this, just now. You saw, here's how it works. You hold the cards the same way, but instead of dropping it with your thumb, because you have a little baby thumb, what you need to do is you, you break the cards with your, uh, with your pointer finger here. You take your index finger, check this out, and you break them. Then you kind of slide like that. And this you can do if you have smaller fingers, smaller hands. And then you, you cuff, sort of bend that 
let that fall and sandwich it. Really the key is that in getting that index finger break. Then the, the hand sort of knows what to do from there. And that's it. Now you can have little hands and you can do the Charlier cut. I mean, that is innovation. And that's what magic is all about. Magic is not, it's not for the weak. The weak of mind, the weak of heart. Magic is for those of us who are strong and resilient and are willing to work hard to make things function. And that's why we blow people's minds. That's why people trust us. That's why they believe in what we're doing. And that's why we change their life. We bring wonder to them because we're hardworking, we're resilient, and, and we push. We push, we're innovative. I'm innovative. And you can use that. You can use the Charlier cut for small hands. I hope that you go out there and you do something great. Eternal fan